coming off a terrific game against Dallas. And here we go. Peter McDab in Altitude Studios. Mark Mosier at Ball Arenas. The Abs win the opening face-off. Set off now for McCarr. Corralled by Ben, but got away. Given up top, and Gerard spins free from Sagan. Looks down the slot and shoots. Hit a body backhander saved by Ottinger. And it's kicked to the far side, Jamie Ben. Back gets it to the near side. Taves will race there and throws it to the point. Turnaround shot saved by Ottinger. JT Comfer. Smothered right at the hashes. Loving the way that his club played. And the coach loves the little things in terms of how his team plays. There's a great back check by Helm, and he keeps that clock here. Yeah, la last game by this point. The Avs are up 2 nothing in complete control. Right now, oh. Dallas doing a nice job. Just a really nice move. Nobody at fault, obviously. Hockenfather, a big man, knocks down Kadri, but fortunately, he seems to be okay, Mosh. But you go flying into that end wall. 21 for Rope Hits, and the EJ now. Looks at that puck up ice. Newhook settles it down, walks in, backhander saved by Ottinger. What a great pass by Eric Johnson and Newhook. By Eric Johnson, all the way to the blue paints. You're, you're not going to play a better period than la last first period against this Dallas club. They were really good. So these first periods, they've been ready. No goals in his last six games. Taken away by the start. Down the slot. Quick shot. Saved by Francois. And that puck is right between his pads as the Stars came crashing in all the way down the slot. Play down low. But then at the other end. Saw the numbers as well. Dallas's power play this season, ninth in the National Hockey League. That has not been an issue for them. Klingberg swings it far side. Sagan to the dot, to the near side. Robertson in front score. Perfect puck movement by the Dallas Stars. And Joe Pavelski reaches the 20 goal mark for Dallas. They have the 1 0 lead on the power play goal. Exactly what Dallas needed. They did not play well last game. They got beat 4 nothing. Their coach was very upset. But tonight they've come out. They've been able to control the pace. And now they get, a, uh, you know, one of those lucky power plays with a, you know, the puck shot out of the zone. And Pavelski breaks a, for him, a long. But the trainers are so hugely important inside of any success that the Colorado Avalanche or any team are going to have. Stars bring it ahead here early in period. Number two down the slot. Hits with a shot to save by Francois. That was a good opportunity, seemingly out of nowhere, as a Colorado Avalanche. Certainly outpacing his production in terms of points per game. Coughed up would have been straight up top. A shot off the post. Klingberg rang it off the iron behind Francois. Wow, that was close. Finds the outlet to Newhook. He got hit in the face. Was holding his face. There was no call. The puck is pushed back in. Francois can't play it. It wasn't in the trapezoid. Given up. Short side score. Robertson able to lift it past the glove of Pavel Francois to give the Stars a 2-0 lead. That's his 22nd of the season. And Francois had to scramble back into his crease. You know, confusion in behind. Now this line was the line in the 3-1 win for Dallas earlier this season. Pavelski had a couple of goals. Well, tonight, this line again has both goals for. But he's played well here tonight. The Avs have 15 shots on goal. Dallas is catching up. Back in his new hook. Walks it back up the boards. Given off from the car, and that puck got away from him. He'll chase. Couldn't poke it off. Keeps control. Finds McKinnon to the top of the circle, shoots, SCORE! Nathan McKinnon keeps it right on the ice. He's able to send it through the five hole of Ottinger, and the Avs get one right back on McKinnon's 10th of the season. It's now a 2-1 game. Well, I, I, I got to tell you, I have watched this young man practice when he was out and after last game and yesterday doing stuff. He's a hockey player, Mosh. I mean, he, he comes out, he comes out for the for practice yesterday and he had specific things that he worked on. 
The copper right there. They're going to have a look at that. Coming around for Robertson. Send it to the floor of the net. Intercepted by Tapes. He got knocked down. No penalty called. Long shot caught by Francois. And he got three. Pavelski throws it to the circle. And the crowd here is incensed. Get another look at that here in just a little bit. Burakovsky up top from McCarr. Dips his down. Foul turns and fires. And is saved by Ottinger. Point blank way. I, I, I'm not sure what was or wasn't seen right there. The Chushkin who's played a really and they played good hockey and they dominated in you know certainly last game. But offensively it's not quite as sharp maybe as it was a little earlier. Tyler second to the front of the net stop. Saved by Francois score. Pavelski with his second goal of the game as he worked it right into the crease and was able to bang it past Pavel Francouz. Dallas with a power play goal has made it a 3-1 game. And then Pavelski was able to poke it through. Here's another look. Uh, I... Now Pavelski's... Oh, did Pavelski poke? French technology for goalie interference on the play. Okay, so the abs will challenge. You're right, Peter. Yeah. Moshe, you're going to scramble around in there. There's no question. But when he poked at Pavel Francouz and, and turned him, turned his... Now, I think it's going to be no goal. Oh, boy, they called it a good goal, Pete. A little extra something that Nathan McKinnon has. Abs with a draw to Taves, and you'd expect... But the Avs are going to get back in this one, get things even up. This top line led by McKinnon. Devon Tate sitting on nine goals this season. That ties a career high. Give it up. Shot. Kicks a rebound. Shot. Saved by Ottinger. He robs Kale McCarr. Was he looking right at McCarr when he, when he smiled like that? Because that was an absolutely magnificent play. Oh, Pete, I think he got the blocker on it. Wow. I can't believe it. He got the... I... That... Landis Gog tips it ahead. McKinnon's flying up ice. Staring at Haskinen. A backhand move and a save by Ottinger with the blocker. Wow. Francois was making a move to the bench. Abs have it at center ice. There goes Pavel Francois. Abs will have the extra attacker. Come on, McKinnon. Far side one timer. What a save by Ottinger. Well, for Nathan McKinnon, he has had a good number of good looks, good opportunities, and that's what you're looking for. He's, you know, he's got one tonight. It'll get going for him again. Time winding down for the Abs. Give it up far side, McKinnon steers it down deep, deflected wide by Rantanen. The Abs have done so many good things tonight, just not rewarded for it. Jamie Benn will give it up for a second. He'll look for a bunny, and he finds it. So the Dallas Stars put it away. It's now a 4-1 game. His second puts home his 16th of the season. And the Avs will have to turn their attention to tomorrow night in Sin City. The Avalanche, you're talking about looking at goals. There's no breakdowns. You know, they there was just a very opportunistic Dallas squad tonight. But you have to remember, Moshe, that 4-0 loss was about as bad. As, they played about as poorly as you can play. The streak is over, but boy, oh boy, was it a thrilling streak. Just that one game short of history.